welcome back to a new vlog i am just popping out quickly i thought i would show you today's little outfit of the day i've got an all black outfit which is definitely one of my faves this jumper is a new addition to my wardrobe it's from misguided and i just love like the slouchy fit of it it's so so comfy it looks really nice with a black pair of skinny jeans these are from new look they've got like a double button at the top they're quite high waisted and they fit really really nicely i got a i believe a size a leg 28 so they're not super super long they don't go all the way down to my ankle they come down to about here which is a really nice fit lots of my other skinnies are all the way like super long and i have to roll them up so it's nice to have a pair of jeans that are a bit more cropped if i want to wear them that way but they fit really nicely under boots because of that because there's no bunching up so yeah really love these and then the boots that i'm wearing are also new look they have this like almost half transparent sole very bottega vibes i really like that on my lips i have mac honey love with kkw love lip liner a lot of love going on my eyeshadow is from the charlotte tilbury instant look in a palette that i showed you i think in my last vlog if you haven't seen that i will link it at the top of the screen and then in terms of jewelry i'm wearing my monica vinader hoops these are just really nice like silver hoops that have a little bit of sparkle on them but they're really like dainty and kind of minimal and then i'm wearing just my normal pandora ring which is the top ring on this hand and the bottom one is one that my nan gave me and then monica vinader rings on this hand as well these are two separate ones which i stack together i will link both of them and then just my normal bracelets and amazon apple watch strap and then i've got another monica vinada bangle on this arm so yeah that is what i'm wearing today and then probably just a nice big coat over the top because it's a little bit chilly okay i decided to go with my marge coat if you haven't seen the last vlog you really should watch it because there is some cute stuff in it this i am just in love with from that order also despite <laughs> some of the opinions the pink cardigan is staying guys i love the pink cardigan so much i do need to make decisions on that order today actually and get that sorted so your comments are really coming in handy but anyway yeah i'm wearing this coat i absolutely love it i think the length is so good for my like height just absolutely loving it uh, i've got my chanel jumbo bag on and then i have a little balenciaga hat i was gonna go with my black hat so that it was a little bit more minimal but i don't know i really like the kind of like black and tan with this outfit and i just think it breaks it up a bit so yeah maybe i'll try the black one just to be sure maybe i'll try it mm. i like the black hat i like a black hat but i don't think this hat works it's a bit too thick really can't wait for my new hat to arrive the one i ordered off bestia still not here yeah but can't wait for it to arrive because i think it would look so cute with this outfit I look like a bank robber. <laughs> what the? Literally look like I'm about to rob up a Starbucks. I stopped filming quite like suddenly yesterday what's going on with my hat wow hello i stopped filming yesterday afternoon i just really wasn't feeling the chatty vibes the weather at the moment it is like so gray i honestly don't know how anyone north of like england or even in the north of england like the countries where the weather just is even darker than ours and like the days are even shorter i honestly don't help people cope it makes me like want to basically just hibernate and i just really struggle with feeling like peppy you know does anyone else get that probably loads of people i think it's probably quite normal but i put on my cutest pink cardigan to try and like pet myself up a little bit today as you will have seen yesterday i also had a zara order arrive so i will take you through that i also have a new coat that i've ordered from a brand that i've never ordered from before but it looked so cute it was kind of expensive but fingers crossed it is going to be really nice and like a good length for me because it just looks so cute on the website and there's a couple of instagrammers i follow that also have this coat and i just think it's so gorgeous so i'll take you through all that in a little bit but right now it is so dark like i've i've really bumped the brightness up on this camera i think we're like three rings up from where we're meant to be i'm gonna make the house really really cozy when the weather gets like this i really like to lean into the fact that it's just dark and just act like it is nighttime and make my house really really cozy and just go with that kind of vibe because then that makes me feel a little bit better rather than like i'm living out my day with the lights off you know
Oh my God, you guys, this coat is perfect. It was spenny, please ignore my choice of footwear. I have no excuse for the poor footwear, like the socks do not match the shoes. Yeah, the socks are basically yellow. I don't think you can really, I don't think it really comes off, but poor choice in footwear aside, the coat, I love it. Like it was so expensive for what I would usually spend on a coat. You guys know me, I'm a high street girl. I very rarely buy pricey coats and this wasn't like Max Mara pricey, but it was a little bit more than I would normally like to spend on a coat, but I just absolutely loved it and I loved the like how dark the buttons were I loved like the quality of the coat just looked very good like it's a really nice wool coat and I've generally had very good experiences with like coats that are made from real wool and I'm so happy with the length like this is a really good length for me like a very flattering length I really I like longer coats but this is like the good kind of long where I don't feel like if I'm going downstairs it's not dragging on the stairs if that makes sense and this is it like tied up so it obviously shortens a little bit but when it's like left open it's a really really nice length on me not too short not too long it's just perfect and it's like the right kind of oversized as well i will confirm what size i bought because i can't remember if i went for an extra small or a small but it's like got room in it like i'm wearing a thick cardigan underneath and it's got room like the color of it i just want to give you guys a good feel for like the color it's that gorgeous like grayish gray beige which I love and it's the right kind of grey where it doesn't wash me out. I really love it. I'm so happy with it. I originally found this brand on Farfetch and they actually have recently gone off Farfetch. Not sure why. I hope it's not for a bad reason because I really like the coat. But yeah, this one had been on my wish list on Farfetch for such a long time and then it suddenly wasn't there anymore. And when I went to buy it, I was like, this is just my luck. But yeah, absolutely love this. So, so pretty. Yeah, I have no regrets on this. And the delivery was so fast as well. I'm very, very happy with this. However, as a backup, if this one wasn't the one, I actually ordered a coat from Zara, which is in my Zara order, which I think might be a bit longer than this. And I'm not sure it has a tie waist. So this is why it's my backup and not my first choice, but I ordered it anyway, just as a backup in case this one, for some reason, like I'd never ordered from the brand. It could have been awful in terms of like material or fit or just not been like as it, should have been like as it was sold yeah i ordered that so it's in my zara order so i'll show you that now in case you're looking for something that's a little bit more budget friendly though it's still i think a little bit expensive for zara okay hello i've changed my top because i'm weirdly picky about what i wear when i sit in this situation a very unexciting little fact about me for you there okay so first up we have this top and i don't understand why but it is the softest thing i've ever felt why why are you so soft Oh my god. It looks like it's made for a child, so it's a snug fit. I got it in a size small. I really wanted to wear it with my leather look leggings. And then there's another item that I wanted to put over the top. I saw something similar styled up in this kind of way on Zara. Now that I have had some time to think about it, I'm not so into the idea. Also picked up this jacket which i loved it is a very yellowy e crew though which zara do so very well and they always make something look very white on camera and then you get it in real life and you're like this is this is yellow this is like a step off a lemon yellow but it is really cute it's like a that kind of like tweed boucle style material with these gorgeous gold buttons lovely little lapels it's really really sweet it's got these nice um, cuff details as well. Hopefully you can see that. It's really, really gorgeous and not a particularly long coat either. The colour might just really make me not love it though. This is the coat that I was talking about. So very, very similar, but not exactly the same. This one doesn't have a tie, as I said, and it looks like it's meant to be a bit more of like an oversized cocoon coat. But if you are looking for something that's similar for a fraction of the price, this was, oh, it was 79.99. I got this in an extra small and it still looks huge. So it's gonna be one of those big oversized ones but a great alternative to the other coat that i have which i can't remember if i said the brand is 12 stories spelled s-t-o-r-e-e-z i know and then i'm really excited about this one this is cute i thought this would be really really nice as like a festive top this christmas it might have a bit too much detailing on it i think it's gonna be fine when you try it on but it's one of those ones that when you hold it up you're like wow okay this was just a really simple strapless black bra underneath very similar to what i wore in my what i got for christmas video last year where i had like a sheer top on 
and then I've just put literally like a black strapless bra on underneath and it looks like it's almost part of the top because it has black detailing on it already. And I know lots of you really loved that top. So yeah, this one's a little bit similar, but just with a frill that also goes across the chest and it's got little frill details on the sleeves as well. But I thought it could be a really, really nice one just for like, I wanna be festive. But I don't wanna wear like a dress vibes. So we'll see, we'll see how that fits. Oh, this is what I wanted to put on over the white jumper. Um, I'm not so sure now. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure on the dark denim. It was great in my head. I'll try it on anyway. I'll try it on. Oh, this is so pretty. I've got this pink little jumper, which I just thought would be really, really nice for winter going into spring as well, because it's such a lovely springy color. I got it in a medium. It was $27.99, which is not too bad. It does come quite oversized. I could have done a small, but I wasn't sure when I was looking on the website whether I needed to go for my regular or size up. I thought it'd be really cute in the spring, like tucked into like blue, like a really light blue wash mom jean or actually into a dark denim jean. That could also look cute as well. I also got this little two piece, which I really like. I'm hoping the bottom half is like a good length for me. I got this in a size small. It's like a wrap. I don't know what the like name for this is, like pleated really really gorgeous i thought if this works and the bottoms are nice where are the bottoms oh thank god if the bottoms are nice as well and they fit it could be a really nice one for over the festive period and just in life in general it's a really nice chic one to have for around the house but the bottoms are elasticated so it'd be really great for like post dinner like lounging on christmas day okay do we think the trousers are going to be a good length oh i already not sure let's see it could be just about okay it could be too long we'll see but i might be able to roll them at the top if they're snug enough around my waist what size did i get size small zara have also finally started doing a long sleeved black body hallelujah i'm sure lots of you already know that i'm ecstatic ecstatic thank goodness oh okay so i ordered this little tank top just as a like really nice easy basic for like layering just going into spring in general I don't like this. What is that? That, I, no, I don't like that. I also couldn't resist throwing in a little gray. What do we think? Do these suit me? Do we think they suit me? I feel like I can get away with the black one, but I feel like a lighter one is a real like statement, you know? What do we think? Let me know. I thought it could be cute with like a light colored knit or like a light colored coat. Oh, this. I'm so excited to try on. This looks like trash when i'm holding it up but it's basically a khaki shirt that has this tie waist detail so you like cinch it in around the waist i just thought it'd be so cool with like leather look leggings and then you could either wear trainers or boots or you could really like dress it up or dress it down but i thought that would be amazing for like this time of year with a coat over the top but also going into spring that would be incredible so that is everything i'm gonna have some soup need some lunch and then we're going to try everything on i also just got an alert that my drunk mango order might be coming today it's been weeks it has been actual weeks like how is this <laughs> i do i do not recommend i'm genuinely not even sure what is in that order so this will be a surprise for you guys and for me i'm not holding up hope on it arriving because it's literally been the longest time i genuinely don't believe this parcel is ever going to get here so we'll see but priorities lunch So I thought I'd just open my advent calendar quickly because I haven't done it for days and we have a really good selection. Dermalogica, I can take it or leave it. One of my friends will have that. Got a mini sugar lip balm from Fresh, which is great. Quodley Beauty Water, I love. We've got one of the Boy Smells candles in Ash, which I think Ryan will actually really enjoy. These are really cute candles, by the way. They're like boy smells but the candles look really cute love them we also got a kate somerville as a we i'm not sharing these so <laughs> i got a kate somerville goat milk moisturizing cream which is great this i think this is a full size or like the smaller 
full size. That's amazing. And then an Anastasia Beverly Hills loose setting powder, which is great. This advent calendar has been a good one. So I know I said some bad things about this coat, but it is actually really cute. I like the overall fit of it. It's like a little bit oversized, but it's like shorter. I don't know. I just really like it. It's like a long pea coat. I think it's kind of cute. Obviously my current sock and shoe combination is not really doing it justice, but I don't know. There's something about it that I think is really nice. Like it's like a little bit oversized, but it's not like swamping me. Can I get past the color? Maybe. My only gripe with it is that the pockets really don't feel like they should be cut open, if that makes sense. There's a tiny hole, but it's very well stitched. So slightly unsure as to whether it has pockets or not, and if it doesn't, that's a real deal breaker for me. I love a coat with pockets. I don't know why you'd have a coat if it didn't have pockets, to be honest, but yeah, it's really nice, very snuggly. It's like that nice kind of in between where it's not super heavy, like it's light, but it's not too light. Like there's a decent like lining on the inside. So this is one of those nice ones that I just layer up a lot underneath. What do we think is very cute. So as suspected, this coat is very, very long on me. Still really nice. I think if the other one hadn't worked out, I would still like this one. I do wish it came with a tie waist though. I think that would have made all the difference, but probably would have really bumped up the price as well. And it's a very good price as it is. So yeah, this is it when it's kind of done up. I don't feel like it's as flattering on me as the other one. The ability to have a tie waist, I think is just very important for me and my figure. This is, this is cute, but it's just not, it's not giving me the vibes that I want. I think this one's a really nice value for money. The material feels really lovely as well. If I hadn't ordered the other coat, this coat would have been the one for me because I actually think it's gorgeous. Like the more I look at it, the more I'm like, yes, this is lovely. Oh my God, this jumper is so cute. I really like it. I thought it might have the potential to be itchy, it doesn't so far so good i could have probably got a size down we've got a lot of excess material but at the same time i really like that i think that the fit is really nice it's really oversized it hits at a good point on my legs it just looks so cute with these leggings and converse throughout like winter and spring i think it's a really lovely little piece it doesn't feel like the most amazing but it's not scratchy and it is very soft and i don't know i think it's really cute so yeah this one's a winner for me what do we think do we think it's too pink or is it just right? Okay, so this is the little white, super soft, fluffy jumper. And this is the denim shirt that I wanted to wear over it, but I actually really don't like the quality of this one. I would not recommend. The fit is okay, but it just doesn't feel nice. I don't know. It feels a bit like I'm wearing cardboard, if I'm honest. So sadly, my vision is not going to happen. And I don't feel like this illustrates it well either. So uh, we're just going to park that. So this is the green shirt. I really like it. I wasn't sure if you were meant to do the tie at the front or the back. So I've gone for the back. So I just thought it was a little bit neater this way, but it does look quite nice with the tie at the front as well. It's just an extra bit of detail, I guess. I really like this one. Like I said earlier, it's great for dressing up or down. And for me, I just really love this color. It really suits me. It's that kind of like browny greeny tone it looks a lot browner on camera but it's much more of a like olivey green in real life it's really really gorgeous and i think this is a really nice one to be dressed up or dressed down i think you could wear mom jeans with this or like a leather look legging or a black skinny jean just keep it really simple and like your footwear can also help dress it up or down yeah it's just really gorgeous i really like the material as well it feels very soft i'm definitely definitely keeping this one it's gorgeous so i love this set so much the trousers are just extremely long though like look at that a lot of length needs to come off these for them to fit me. However, I do remember someone saying, and it was after I'd already sent one that I got from And Other Stories back. And to be honest, the And Other Stories one was expensive, so I wouldn't have wanted to have done this to that set. But I remember someone saying after I'd sent it back already that you can actually cut the bottom of this material and it just cuts. So maybe I'll try a little experiment to help all of the fellow short girls out if they like this set. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna take one for the team and I'm gonna see if you can trim the bottom of these just with a pair of like regular scissors. Pray for me. But yeah, I really like it. I love the top as well. I think it looks so nice just with like normal bottoms on as well, like a skinny jean or a leather look legging. It looks really nice as well. So even if you didn't wanna go for the trousers, you could definitely just buy the top and style it up with things in your wardrobe already. I just think it's really lovely. It's like comfy, but it looks really, really chic. Like this could be really cute loungewear or you could actually really dress this up 
and wear it for a night out and I just absolutely love that like some sparkly earrings a pair of heels a cute bag this would look so good but you could also wear it just for like lounging so sadly this one is not the one for me and that could be down to a few things number one I obviously am wearing a bra underneath this whereas the model on the website wasn't and you could see a lot more of the like sequin detailing when you're obviously not wearing a black bra. I don't think a new one would quite work because I think I don't have one that matches my skin tone exactly and is seamless enough. Like I think you'd just be able to tell that I'm wearing a new bra and that's not that's not so cute. Whereas normally I can wear a top like this that is sheer and the bra looks like it's part of the top. Whereas with a new bra it wouldn't look that way. It also I don't know if I needed a smaller size because it's not tight, which is fine. I thought I'd just be able to tuck it into my jeans but I'm actually really struggling because at the back it doesn't seem to want to tuck in it just slips back out and then it like bunches over the side of the jeans and I just think it would be way better if it was more fitted to my body so that it just looked really like streamlined I also think the frill sits at the wrong point it would be so much better if it sat a little bit lower so it almost blended and then I wouldn't really be having the issue that I'm having with over the bra kind of like looking a little bit weird because it would almost like transition into the bra and maybe that would be different if i'd have got a different size i don't know i just think it's not really like i'm not really vibing with this one and then finally we have the body which i'm so happy with i love the material that zara make their bodies out of it's almost like a really fine like scuba like lycra like basically like a lycra material it makes them really really fitted they are always so snug so i find that i can go braless with them if i want to which is fab and they're also double lined as well like there's a little bit of lining that finishes around here and i just love that i find it really holds you in so happy that they've started doing these bodies because I love the skims ones but they're way more expensive way harder to get hold of and they're not as thick as the Zara material so this is fab I'm really glad that I've got a black one so that is everything I'm off to see if I can trim these trousers down now <laughs> wish me luck so just in case anyone was wondering the trousers do cut very well I've done it not particularly skillfully might i add but i have significantly taken them up they could probably do with a little bit more trimming with a much sharper scissor just to make sure the edges actually look straight because i'm pretty sure i did it kind of like jagged i was like oh my god i should not be allowed to do this but because they're pleated you really can't tell and they don't fray which is amazing so this little set is a keeper i love it it's just really nice as like a loungewear piece or as a dressier little set This morning I am having my coffee in my favourite little Bambi mug. I've got a little gingerbread cookie on the side which is fresh out the oven. I'm getting ready to import some footage and plan my day and I'm sitting looking at the Christmas tree. I feel so cosy right now. Good morning, how are you doing today? I have woken up, I honestly feel like I've been hit by a bus. I think my body knows that Lauren has come back off of her holiday and that it's nearly Christmas and I can actually relax <laughs> slightly and I'm feeling a little bit tired. I need a little bit less girl bossing and a little bit more girl resting. That meme, I'll put that meme here if you haven't seen it, it's my favourite at the moment. That meme is me. More girl resting, more girl laying down. <laughs> that is what I need in my life. But today is a great day because I think I have a total of three working days left of the year. Well, I say this, of before Christmas because I always come back between Christmas and New Year's so I cheat a little bit. But then I'm off in January. I've booked, I've booked a mini vacay and I'm so excited. Oh god, this morning's footage is just going to turn into me repeatedly saying I'm tired for a good five minutes, isn't it? So we're going to have a chill day this morning. Last night I got on top of like my Christmas present purchasing organizing i have a whole spreadsheet and it's slowly going from like red squares like red squares that are like you need to buy this to pink squares so very nice so feeling good feeling very organized also woke up this morning to a text message which contained my pcr results from my covid test that i had done yesterday negative which is great so the aching in my body is just me being tired 
and nothing else happy days happy days but yeah today is just gonna be a little bit of a boring day like it's a youtube upload day so there's always a lot of just like typing sorting making sure everything is ready i'm also going to just do a few like ad mini bits that are so dull so some real like laptop time so for the occasion i've gone for a classic all black girl outfit we've got my girl down here in her sweet corn but yeah this jumper is a really old one from asos i've literally had it for so many years now i think i bought it maybe like 2016 if not before that basically i've owned this jumper for a very long time and then i've just got my zara leather look trousers i have a mirror here i can just show you my bedroom is a bit of a mess so please ignore that but yeah this is my little look for the day yeah i'm just about to pop out and get lauren because she is carless today so i'm just going to throw on a cute little coat over the top of this and obviously change the footwear i'm just going to pop on a fragrance it's so hard to pick at the moment i have so many that i love i'm just going to take you through my favorites quickly so i get asked this all the time but this one is one of my newer favorites it's pen Heligan's cairo it's very similar to like sunset riot but it has a little bit more of a floralness to it but it's got this real like gorgeous vanilla undertone which i absolutely love sunset riot by all saints if you don't know what i'm talking about it's basically like the souped up version of that and obviously a lot more expensive but it's incredible people always compliment me on this when i'm wearing it jimmy chu i want you is just my absolute favorite like really feminine floral fragrance but also has like a real vanilla undertone to it so the base is vanilla and then we've got like i think it's peach and is it clementine peach and clementine it's basically like a peach and an orange citrus um scent on the top notes and the heart of it is like jasmine sandbeck and red spider lily really really beautiful so you've got the very like citrusy top notes and then a floral and then like a vanilla underneath it's so beautiful so fun so girly but it smells incredible i get a lot of compliments on this i was gonna make this a top three but i'm really struggling at the moment this is a new like brand new fave that i love this is angel share from by killian and i love this it is gorgeous it almost smells like a toffee apple cider it is honestly incredible and the bottle is just gorgeous this is really delicious a really nice one for nights out or if you like something kind of dramatic ish for the day but you can wear it during the day it doesn't stand out too much so i love that one but the one i've just been absolutely loving wearing at the moment is this one from ysl it's sleek suede the bottle gets so fingerprinty let's just sort that out this one is incredible it just smells like chocolate and vanilla and it's super dark like i always think of like the color purple when i spray this it's like so rich and luxurious it's really really gorgeous it's almost like slightly floral mixed with chocolate which sounds like it should be disgusting but it is honestly incredible the longevity of this one is incredible as well this one i can't smell on myself after a little while in terms of like longevity these two i always smell on my clothes after i sprayed it on my clothes i'm gonna go with this one it's a good daytime one a good daytime one or a good like girls night out one. Oh my goodness you guys this has just arrived <gasps> i'm so excited oh my goodness i'm so excited great timing because i was just about to get my coat on this is so cute i'm so happy with it so this is a cashmere beanie from chanel i've been eyeing this up on instagram for the longest time i just thought it would look so cute with lots of the black coats that i have especially the puffer jackets that i have i thought this would work perfectly with to kind of go with them but also like elevate the outfit a little bit oh my god i love it and i love the way it sits i'm so happy with this because i've really been finding that lots of hats are either too thick here or they sit like this and i really don't love that like i really like my other chanel beanie also does this where it like flops a little bit but not so much that you feel you're in like the early 2000s like that kind of vibe so this is my little outfit of the day i've got my chanel beanie this coat is from new look and i absolutely love it it's what i wanted the coat that i got from misguided which oh we need to turn the brightness up here hello in the dark it's what i wanted the coat that i got from my practical winter video it's what i wanted that to be it's absolutely perfect i really like the length the fit is much better it's so cozy and i really like this almost sleeping bag-esque collar to it i think it's really cool and very very comfy very cozy i've also just put my converse on just because it's easy to drive in and yeah that is my very cute little wintry outfit of the day plus the new glasses because vision is good we love not running people over
good afternoon everybody i am halfway through my to-do list and i'm just about to pop out and get some bits for lunch but i thought i would come on here number one and say i'm so happy with this hat it's so cute may this be the start of a good run of luck with my best year purchases so i actually have my eye on something else that i'd really like in 2022 so hopefully i have better luck from here on out this is a good start so i wanted to tell you that but also just wanted to say bye i hope you guys have enjoyed this week's vlog i'll be back with you hopefully again on monday i feel like we're in that pre-christmas period where there's really not a lot going on so hopefully i'll pull something together that is interesting fingers crossed if i do i'll see you monday but thank you so much for tuning in as usual love you bye